In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete every new Galactic Conqueror Spotlight Challenge in NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys can see, I'm on Mini Coach's account, and he has completed legit every single challenge and has the Gallic Simple KG. So we're going to be looking at every single challenge and showing you guys all of the best tip and, uh, tips and tricks and telling you guys how to complete each challenge. So we'll just start off from the top here with the Boston Celtics. Now, wave number one and wave number two for every single team is going to be very easy. The first challenge is literally on semi-pro difficulty. It's on triple threat. It's a triple threat game up to 10 points and there's no restrictions for the game and all you got to do is win the game that one is very simple i think one and two everybody should uh, should be able to complete and then wave number two is just going to be adding a celtics player into your lineup so i mean very easy to do i don't think anybody should struggle with that now wave three is where stuff can get a little bit interesting i mean for example in this one you do have to win the game without getting blocked two times and i'm pretty sure you do match up against three taco falls so it's going to be a little bit hard but just use like a point guard and just make sure you're doing like you know uh, if you're using curry for example make sure you're using the curry slide and just make sure you're being very careful when you're taking those shots and then for the two celtic players i mean some really good options for the celtics are definitely going to be taco fall his amethyst card if you guys do have it he is a very very good choice to use for a lot of these challenges especially if you guys are rocking on a budget so go get yourself taco fall he might be a little bit expensive now because a lot of people are realizing how good he is for a lot of these challenges but this challenge wave number three for the celtics should be very easy wave four and five is where things get a little bit more difficult wave four i actually believe is probably the harder a harder one win the game and grab at least 15 rebounds as a team and you have to use three lakers players so for this one it really just depends on what players you do have i mean the rebounds shouldn't be that difficult if you have guys like anthony davis you have cream right like if you use these two guys and then you throw like a lakers point guard to score with like this shouldn't be difficult at all to grab the rebounds right and then i'll just go to the lakers and put in like a point guard or a guy that can score the ball maybe even like an austin reeves type of player or a kobe bryant right you can just do something like that and it shouldn't really be that hard to get it done i'll just put austin reeves in the lineup right you should definitely be able to get 15 rebounds and obviously win the game it's only an all-star difficult which really isn't that difficult and then the last one is going to be win the game and prevent your uh, prevent your opponents from making two three-pointers this challenge is definitely uh i've seen this challenge a lot right with basically every single one or not every single one but a lot of them are going to be you can't let your opponent make two three-pointers for this one you just got to be using a really good diamond lineup the three diamonds i was using personally for you know grinding on my own account was uh diamond steph curry diamond shea and diamond evan mobley i'm not sure if uh, mini does have those players but just letting you guys know that's the three players i was using if you want to go for more of a budget obviously curry is a really good option as the amethyst version he could definitely be you know your main type of point guard so he could definitely be your point guard I think Amethyst Giannis is actually another pretty good choice as well. You just want two guys that can score the ball, and then you want like a really good rebounder. So you could definitely use Giannis as well for an Amethyst. And then another Amethyst you could use is definitely going to be Wesley Persons. But if you have the higher tier diamond cards like the Shea, like the Diamond Curry, and the Diamond Mobley, those would be the cards I'd recommend. But yeah, you could go Wesley Persons. You could go maybe even K uh, KPJ is not a bad option. Gary Payton. A lot of good options for the Amethyst tier as well, and for people that are kind of rocking on a budget. So those are the three players I would use for pretty much all of these diamond players and below challenge which is the fifth and final wave the captain one for the prevent uh prevent your opponent from making two threes you just gotta let them score on the offensive end try to play as good as defense as possible if you see that you kind of get a lead and you go up by like 10 to 12 points then just make sure you're letting them take their twos and you're just scoring on the offensive end that one really shouldn't uh, shouldn't be that difficult especially going up against antoine walker who isn't like the greatest three-point shooter and next one i'm going to kind of fly through like i'm not going to really talk about wave one or two obviously wave three i think i'm not going to really mention either like this one just win the game and make 10 three-pointers as a team very easy to do you just got to use two nets players in your lineup you guys can figure out the team right just go in the auction house if you want to find cards to use i'll give you guys a couple player mentions you know as i go through all the teams but for the nets for example if you need to make threes if you have a brooke lopez if you have a yee right if you grind it for that yee card Kenyon martin's not bad if you have a kevin durant even his amethyst can knock down three so a carry silver there's just so many good options that you guys can find through your collection or on the auction house as well for wave number four i mean this one is literally just use three next players and win the game don't really need to talk about that one and then finally it's going to be win the game without letting the other team steal the ball two times and once again you got to run that diamond or below lineup so for the diamond or below lineup i'll run the same team every single game for me it was diamond shade diamond curry and diamond evan mobley you could throw diamond Giannis, diamond throw bailey a bunch of different options but just make sure you have two guys you can score the ball with and that can shoot threes whether it's steph curry or whether it is um shea as well so for that one gonna be very easy just win the game without letting the other team steal the ball two times i am gonna quickly hop in the game and just show you guys what to do with steph curry so let me just throw on like a diamond power forward here real quick because i feel like some people might might be kind of confused you know how to score the ball i'm not going to show you guys the entire game but just show you guys what i'll be doing on the offensive 
Ben to get these buckets with Curry. Now, using the Amethyst, Amethyst version is going to be a little bit more difficult. I mean, we're going up against uh, three Jason kids. And for example, in this one, I just can't let them seal the ball for me two times. That one's not that hard to do. I mean, you basically just can't let them really rip the ball. So what I would do is obviously give the ball to Steph Curry. I would either call a screen from Yon or something like that, but you just really want to Curry slide and then shoot like that, right? If you're Curry sliding, which is really easy to do, you just kind of hold down left or basically the opposite direction of what the ball, where the ball is in your hand. So if, if the ball is in your right hand, you hold down and left, kind of like diagonally left on the, on the on the left stick, or sorry, on the right stick, and that will be the Curry slide. So this is what I'll pretty much do on the offensive end, run up, hold the, le I'll hold the right stick down left, and then shoot the three ball and you should be able to get wide open looks. So that's how I do that one, for example, and pretty much all the challenges I'm trying to do that I'm trying to get these three pointers done with. I'll just use Curry and just use a lot of Curry slides. Curry is very easy, uh, very easy to use in game and you can score a lot of points with. I'm just going to kind of fly through and just show you guys like maybe if there's any difficult ones that I know. So we'll just hop into wave four. This one, once again, is just going to be win the game. And then final one is going to be win the game before the other team reaches 20 rebounds. Very easy to do. Like some of these challenges are very, very simple. This one is basically just don't miss 20 shots or don't let them get off into rebounds and you should be perfectly fine so Mitchell Robinson and the Knicks going to be very easy the 76ers I think was fairly easy as well I mean this one is once again just win the game and then the final one is win the game without letting the other team score 40 points I mean these challenges are super easy you should be able to fly uh, fly through them really fast this one is win the game and prevent uh, prevent Will and Chamberlain from getting 10 rebounds once again just don't miss 10 shots or don't let them get offensive rebounds very simple to do make sure you're using a big man for that right to kind of box out of Will Chamberlain so you can definitely use a big next one here is going to be the Raptors the final one in the Atlantic Division I think this is going to be very simple as well when the game and record at least 12 assists as a team like you guys kind of get the point of this it's very simple to do for most of these this one is going to be a little bit difficult to win the game without turning the ball over them more more than one time I mean, it's pretty simple to do. It might take you a couple times. Just make sure you're being really smart. Make sure you're being really smart. And just make sure when you pass the ball, nobody's in the lane and don't obviously get plucked from a steal as well. So, I mean, honestly, guys, a lot of these challenges are very simple. Like, win the game once again using three Pistons players. Win the game and prevent your opponent from making two three-pointers. The same thing as Antoine Walker. Just make sure you guys get a lead, play good defense. And then once you get the lead, just make sure they just let them take the twos, right? It's also for Chris Mullen, which we'll talk about later in the video. He's a really good three-point shooter and he likes to shoot a lot so just make sure you're letting him take your uh, take his twos and you're just scoring every time on the offensive end now steady osman i think this one was a little bit difficult at least i heard it was because i think you have to verse three ma uh, three mass lebrons here and you have to use three wizards players so for wizards players i'm not exactly sure who mini coach has i'm trying to think of wizards off the top of my head but i mean if you have gilbert arenas you know bradley beal javel mcgee john wall they actually have a lot of good cards even george Mirson, he would actually be like the probably the best budget card used in this situation right if you have a guy like john wall he can be very effective or or if you guys did grind for West on sold as well he could be easy for this challenge so, i mean a lot of these guys are just going to be very simple i don't really want to you know waste your guys time and go through every single one i will talk about some ones that i found a little bit difficult i mean the one that i found the most difficult from grinding it was i believe in the udonis haslam challenge i was actually tweeting it when i was trying to do it i could not complete this fourth one this fourth one is really really difficult you have to win the game and score at least 10 fast break points as a team and you have to go up against pink diamond lebron pink diamond d wade and pink diamond chris bosh as well and you got to use three timberwolves players and unless mini has some really good timberwolf players the, the count i was using i mean obviously if he didn't have kg right now it'd be a lot simpler but i guess ant would help a little bit i was using like jimmy butler and then i think i was using like rudy gobert and uh diamond cat like that's the team i was using and it's very hard to get the 10 uh, fast break points what i would do is you want to leave d wade open for this challenge if you go into the challenge you'll see that d wade is going to miss a lot of threes and the only way to really complete it in my opinion is just letting either lebron shoot threes or d wade shoot threes chris posh pretty makes pretty much makes every three on all star difficulty so just make sure you guys are leaving d wade open he'll miss probably like one every three shots from the three-point line maybe one into four if you are lucky and then you just got to be running in the fast break so as soon as that shot goes up you got to be kind of close with your point guard and then just sprint down the floor grab the rebound and then throw the full court pass and then hope you get those fast break points for me it took about three to four tries so trust me if you're struggling with that one it's not just you i was struggling with it as well i will also say there was a final challenge that was a little bit difficult i think it was for it was for one of the first cards I was doing. I think it was, um, was it Tyreek Evans? No, it was for DeAndre Hunter. Where is DeAndre Hunter? This one was actually very, very difficult for me, at least. This final one, uh, the captain, I think it was the cards I was using, right? Are, you had to, wait, was it this one or the other one? I'm not sure which one it was. Win the game and make at least five dunks and eight three-pointers as a team. For some reason, I just could not dunk the ball. They were just blocking every shot. This one was a little bit difficult, but... 
I think honestly guys if you kind of get the hang with it like if you kind of do a couple challenges and you kind of learn like the meta of how to do these it's really not that hard like i know dbg was struggling with this one but i didn't really find it this difficult i mean you gotta use three rockets players i mean i'll just quickly check what rocket players mini coach has i know amethyst russ is a decent option also sapphire hakeem is also not that bad like this hakeem card was really helpful for me and he's a very good you know kind of budget guy to use he's a really good center but amethyst russ is not bad obviously if you have like a hard and a yao ming a steve francis or ralph samson those guys would be super effective but kind of for like a budget even kenny smith is not bad like hakeem russ and kenya martin can definitely be a lineup that can get this challenge done you just got to kind of bait uh, bait clay thompson into shooting threes he just wants to shoot the ball every time he touches it so as soon as clay touches it you just want to be jumping in his face or at least contesting because literally clay is programmed to shoot every time he touches the ball this one once again like i said with the chris mullen is a little bit difficult because i did fail this one time i believe because he can't make two three-pointers you just got to play solid defense try to get a lead play Place all defense until you get like a 10 point lead or eight point lead and then just let him take twos pretty much every time down the floor if you guys get the hang with it with your diamond cards like if just use the three uh, same diamond cards over and over again and once you get them down you should be really good on the offensive end but other than that guys i mean you can let me know in the comment section down below if there's any difficult ones that you guys know about just let me know down below because for me i don't think any of these are really that tough like kind of just go through and if you guys know any ones that you're really struggling with just let me know in the comment section down below which wave challenge it is and i'll respond to you guys and tell you guys how to complete it but i'm kind of looking through here and they're all very very similar like you know win the game make seven dunks as a team very simple to do i mean just make seven dunks right this one is just win the game with three raptors players just buy these good raptors players off the auction house if you don't so that's the last thing i kind of want to talk about it's just some good players to be buying off the auction house so like i said taco fall he is a really really good option now he might be going for a little bit more mt like he might be somewhat expensive but taco fall if you guys are kind of working on a budget yes he might be expensive now but honestly the fifteen thousand mt you spend on this card is going to be probably worth it like you can maybe even get him for a little bit lower but right now he's about fifteen thousand mt and he's going to help you guys out so much if you're kind of on a budget just for like those diamond and below challenges and the ones where you can use you know certain players from a team like the celtics or you can just use any cards possible like he's going to be really helpful so make sure you guys are picking up taco fall like i said curry's really good for the offensive stuff wesley person um kevin porter jr even gary payton is not bad right if you're looking for like big men like diamond Giannis, diamond mobley diamond throw bailey all really good kind of power forwards like i said i use diamond curry diamond shea and diamond mobley or diamond Giannis. i kind of switch between the two it was just really preference to who I felt like going with that game. So for me, guys, like I said, I think most of these challenges are very, very easy to do. There is some difficult ones. Like, like I said, if you guys can let me know down below which ones are difficult, but a lot of them are very similar. So I'm not going to go through every single one. A lot of the fourth wave is just win the game. A lot of the fifth one is just either don't let them get two steals. Don't let them make two three pointers. Don't let them, you know, get five assists with magic. That one was a little bit difficult once again. I'm pretty sure that was the Lakers one. Obviously, it was the final fifth one for the captain. You can't let Magic, or it was the fourth one, sorry. You have to win the game and prevent Magic Johnson from recording more than five assists. So you can let him get five assists. But it was a little bit difficult because it is up to it is up to 40 points. And, you know, the Clippers team, for me, I was using, like, Lamar Odom, I think, like, Elton Bran, and some other uh, Clippers player, like... It, I was using Corey as well. So I was using Corey, Elton Brandon, Lamar Odom. It's a little bit difficult to kind of score with those three guys in the lineup and prevent Magic from getting five assists. That means when you're on the defensive end, you just got to be very wary of where Magic is on the court and just make sure he's not passing the ball to a wide open shooter or to somebody down low. Just make James Worthy and Cream, you know, have the ball in their hands and make them try to create shots and stuff like that. So a lot of these guys are just common sense. Like, for me these challenges were easy to do like on my account like i did like three or two pink diamonds i should say and the only one i really struggled with was the udonis haslam like all other than that challenge like all of them were pretty easy in my opinion but if you guys need help with any other ones let me know in the comment section down below i don't give you guys my best advice but just make sure to use those good budget cards right you know get good with steph curry if you want to use a guy like taco fall or kpj good get good with their jump shots learn how they move in game and then kind of just you know common sense for the rest of them if it's like prevent two three pointers don't let chris mullen shoot wide and threes right let him take in twos or just kind of you know play really good defense like make sure he doesn't get the, the shot off if it's you know don't throw a turnover like og ananobi just be smart with the ball don't throw turnovers right don't like try to you know throw a crazy pass to the corner full court like just be really smart be careful with the ball like the, it's just a lot of common sense right like a lot of these fourth and fifth challenges are really just common sense like this one just win the game the final one is just don't let kirk heimridge make two three pointers but overall guys that's how to complete every single spotlight challenge for the new galley simple kevin garnett like i said earlier let me know in the comment section down below if there's any ones you guys are struggling with and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace